Hello everyone, welcome to this new series video. In this new series video, I will introduce how can we implement PID loop control where the back of Twinkle 3 and the TF4100 controller toolbox. And in this group of videos, I will use 10 steps to introduce this topic. Rather than use a 10 minutes video to quickly introduce the PID function block FB underscore control underscore PID, I would like to use the 10 steps to introduce the step by step how to implement this controller using the Twinkle 3. Because to implement the PID control is not only using a function block, uh, we still need to set up the analog input, analog outputs. Also, we need to set up the train to monitor the side point feedback and the output control. Other than that, we will also introduce how can we tune the PID three parameters. At the end, another important topic that is how can we program the auto manual bump list switch is very useful in practice. In this series video, to implement the PID control, our main role in this back off system, that is uh, this function block underscore control underscore PID. The main role of the PID algorithm that is this function block. Also, we will use a mathematical model that is a second order system that is an over damping transfer function. We will implement this second order transfer function by using those function blocks because they can be used as a simulated process object. Other than introducing the PID controller, I will also introduce the main string of the analog input and the analog output. Basically, they are EL3000 series and EL4000 series. They are main string analog inputs and analog outputs cards. I will also share my experience how can we scale the analog input data and unscale the analog output. And in these 10 steps, the first video, that is this video, I will generally introduce how can we find out the detailed information of this TF4100 controller toolbox and how can we download the PID sample program. This sample program can support us or can allow us to quickly set up the PID control loop. And second step, I will set up the Twinkle 3 project. We start from the Twinkle 3 project, start from the scratch and set up the cyclic task. And then use the step three and step four, let's set up the analog input and the analog output, do the program for the scale and the unscale. The step five, that is the main meal. I will introduce how can we program the PID function block. The function block is named IB underscore control underscore PID. And step six, I will use the second order overdamp transfer function as a control data object, connect to this PID function block. So we do not need actual hardware and actual process object to do this test. We can only use the computer system and use this simulated object for the test. To the step six, basically we set up this whole control loop. So the step seven, I will use the score trend to monitor the set point uh, PID input and output so we can look at the performance of the PID control. And next step, I will test the manual control. I will show how can we manual control the PID output. Also, uh, through this uh, manual control, uh, we can use a step response to look at the controlled object, what the behavior of this uh, controlled object, this uh, second order over damping system. Step nine, I will show how can we tune the PID parameters, that is a gain, integration, and uh, derivative based on this uh, second order over damp controlled object that is a simulated temperature system. And step 10, I will introduce how can we program the auto manual bump list switch. That would be very useful if you are doing a project in a practical or a actual industry process. Okay, to use the PID controller from this back of Twinkle 3 software, we need to download one additional software that is a TF4100 controller toolbox. And this uh, toolbox TF4100, you need a license, we need to purchase that. To implement this uh, whole control loop, firstly, we need to download the Twinkle 3 software. You can download this software for free. Also, for learning purpose, it also have a seven days trial license. After the seven days, you can activate this seven days trial license again. 
so you can continue to use this uh, trial license. It's very useful for learning purpose. So before you do the actual project, you can download and uh, pre-learn this uh, software and pre-test the control loop. That's really good. So you can find out this uh, link and go to the download Twinkle 3 and click this uh, engineering. And then you download this Twinkle 3 3.1 the current latest version that is 3.1.4024.10. So download this software. That is the main Twinkle 3 software. And to implement the PID control loop, we also need to download the TF4100. So you can search the TF4100. Its full name that is a TF4100. TC3, that's a TwinCat 3 controller toolbox. And you can click the, the download from this link at here. And then you can download this uh, TF4100 controller toolbox. This software is really small. It's basically just a 2 megabyte. But you have to download because inside this software, it has a library inside. When you implement the PID function block, we need to use this uh, library. Other than that, from here, you can also download the documents. This document is very useful. It includes all the detailed information and the explanation of the PID function block. For example, if from here, we will search the control PID, you can quickly jump to the function block explanation here. I explained the diagram and uh, the typical transfer function and how it works inside and the detail input and the detail output here. For example, that is the detail parameters of the PID, gain, integral, and the derivative. Okay, that is the software download. After you install the Twinkle 3 and this TF4100 toolbox, you better also download one sample program. So go to this link, the example project. This example project is under the hierarchy of this TF4100 TC3. So click this example project. It will show the example installation and the example structure. If you click this example installation, here you can download this uh, sample program. Inside this uh, sample program, it almost includes more than 80 scenarios. It almost includes all the programs, the sample program. You can use all the sample program as an uh, example, as a reference. That is a TF4100 controller toolbox. This software is really small. It's basically just a two megabyte. You can quickly install that. So once you install this uh, Twinkle 3 software, you can double click this uh, program from here, right click, run as an administrator, run this uh, Twinkle 3 XAE. After we open this uh, Twinkle 3 software, I will use this software to open this uh, sample project. So before that, we need to unzip this uh, zip file. And this is that sample program. This is that zip file of this uh, project. And from this uh, Twinkle software, we go to open, select project solution, and find out this folder, and click this uh, CT underscore sample 00, zero. Open. And then it will ask us to select one folder to deploy this project. So I will set up one folder, a named the back of PID sample project. Okay, double click, and select this uh, folder. And then the software will deploy this sample project under this directory, under this folder. Okay, so this project is open. So let's go to browse the project, see what that looks like. So under this POU, that is the main of this sample project. So under this main, it has an example program for each function blocks and scenarios. We will mainly use this program underscore fb underscore control underscore pid. This is the control pid program. 
So this program is located at uh, the controller under this folder. It is here. So if we double click this uh, program, we will see this is the basic structure of the PID controller. This is the instance of the PID controller. And here, this is the initial setting of the cycle time, task cycle time, gain, integral, and derivative parameters. Also, it has an interface, the side point, actual feedback, and uh, the main control, as well as the mode switch, select the auto or select the manual. OK, that is a sample program. We better set up a new project and copy this control underscore PID, this program, from this sample project to our new project. And in next video, I will show how can we set up a new TwinCast 3 project, start from the scratch. Also, we will see this. You can see to use the PID, we need to call the PID controller or call the PID program under the cyclic task and the cyclic program calls this PID. All those simple programs, they are using this controller toolbox, this library. So to implement the PID control in your project, firstly, you need to install that TF4100 controller toolbox. And after you install that toolbox library, you need to right-click add the library, add this uh, TC2 underscore controller toolbox. In next video, I will start from the scratch set up a new project, and then import this library. And also, I will show how can we set up the cyclic task. The cyclic task will be used to call the PID controller. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.